and welcome back. My name is Blue Star, and I'm back on the Ticket Packet I've been playing. And unfortunately, let me click a button here and show you what happened. As you can see, um, if you watched my last video, um, out of nowhere, you know, it just stopped recording. I had no clue what happened, and I logged right back in and. Here's my save game. As you can see, I lost it. Complete wipeout. Um, yeah, so... Ouch, crying. All the above. Um, yeah. Obviously, I was not ready for that. So I'm going to go ahead and launch a new one here. Um, we'll see what we randomly generate. Um, so obviously in the middle of video 11 um, to this video, which should have been, you know, the continuation of 11 or 12, it's a complete wipe. It's a lost. Um, I'm going to see where I land here real quick. Let's see what type of map we do and do not get. Um, looks like I've got a little bit of a desert biome, some oil in the background, got some trees there. Uh, let's open up the big, big map here. So I do have some woods off that way. So it does look like I'm still near a plain area. So what I'm going to quickly probably do is flip to uh, creative mode. Uh, scour the map real quick, see what I can find, see what I can, and see what I can do, and then try to do a lot of work in creative mode to try to put myself kinda near where we were before I lost it. I don't want to start all the way over um, because obviously you know we're what at least 12 episode videos in is what this would probably turn out being. Um, and I don't want to start all over and all of you have to see all that. Um, so I'm probably going to try to do a little bit of stuff off camera, off screen. Um, like I said, I'm going to be in creative mode. One thing I will show you is hopefully me flipping the creative mode. Um, options here, inventory, um, game mode. Got to activate all these here. That way, you know, I can turn on uh, game mode. I need that button to be activated. I need to be able to change it. I'm going to come back over here. Nope. Global. There we go. Now I can activate that. Game mode selections capabilities. Um, layout Minecraft. I think that's it. Turn magnet on. Game mode set to creative. creative. Plus, adventure, survival. So we're in creative mode right here. Yep. That's the thing about. Double tap the space bar and hold it. Yep, as you can see, I just took flight. I'm airborne. So I can fly around, take a look. Well, got a kind of a river -y scene this way, real quick. Give you all a sky view of, you know, what we're at. Like I said, normally I do not do this. Um, I'm only really considering this because I know I've been working pretty hard. And I brought y'all in like 12 videos deep. Um, so. Looks like we got quite a few options here. Um, let me see here real quick. Switch this. Uh, surface. Biomes. I don't know them all. But. 
couple few different biomes there. Underground, okay, surface, back to surface, okay. <coughs> so, like I said, you know, I'm going to scout around a little bit, see if I can find a good place to start off my base. Um, one thing I am going to do is come back here and set up, you know, where home was, or at least the loading of us was. Um, the, the other good thing is, you know, I, by creative, you know, I don't have to go scour the land and resources. I'll just be able to pull a lot of that up real quick. And this is going to be about, about the right spot. Waypoint, add, starting location. Okay. So. The way I know where center is. I'll keep you all with me for a little bit. As we're flying around. We had a lot of water in this area. You know, that last time I was doing it. I, just, I was following a, a river type thing. This has literally got lots and lots and lots of water. Oh, what's this? Ha ha! I found a dungeon, I found a dungeon. So, seems that we're already in this, like here. Let me come down here, right here, real quick. And we'll make a few key waypoints. Dungeon. Oh, I spelled that right. Take back off. Got some sand out here. Looks like a lava. Or basalt. But this should be. Yep, basalt. Thought so. There's the jungle. Oh, that actually ain't jungle. That's just a forest. Looks like there's a lot of sewage in this one. There's the jungle. Not seeing nothing major else jump out right this second. Yeah, kind of a little hill plane here going in. There's the snow biome. How far away? Yeah, about 600 meters from the starting location. Mm-hmm. Keep circling around here. Wow, this jungle's huge. Oops, I think I just saw something. Right. This way. No, nope, just a tree. Okay. Must be in the hill, in the, what do they call it, the extreme hills, I believe is what it's called. Mm -hmm. 
I think the starting location is probably going to be pretty close to, you know, what I had. You know, I won't ever have the exact same map again. Because um, each time you do load and start a new game, it does randomly generate your map. So, I think this area we kind of started in is going to be pretty close to what we had. Look at the map here. Um, I like to have a little bit of a cliff out in the area. I'd also like like it to be semi flat. Let's try this direction. I don't want to just, you know, settle. Looks like we're probably going over the swampy area here. A couple of rubber trees. There are some mountains coming in. Oh, it's turning dark. No, it doesn't. But here are some extreme hills. Wow. There's another volcano. Yeah, we're about 600 meters from a starting location this direction now. Curve off this way. This is just water. Wow. Massive amount of water. More jungles, a little bit more swamp coming in. Snow. So I can either take the plains near the tree line here, near the swampy area. Looks like we got probably a ravine coming up right here. Yep. A ravine down there cut in. Somewhere in here is probably going to be the best we're going to get. Where was the starting direction again? Right over there. I'm thinking I'm liking right here, guys. So obviously it's not going to be the same um, at all. Um, I will do what I can to you know, try to get us back to where I was originally. Um, bear with me a little bit. I'll, I might bring y'all back for other pieces, you know, while I'm doing the edited mode. I might even try over here. 
Oh, that's the ravine. I'm not liking the ravine. I don't want to build on the edge of the ravine. So I might, this might be exactly where I end up punching, making a hole. So. One of the good things about being in creative mode is simply this. No tools needed, just can take off punching. Think of whatever I want as far as inventory. You know, if I want dirt, um, any of my rock stuff I wanted here, or sheep, wool, um, ice. You know, it's just a matter of you know me name it. Type it in a little search bar. For instance, like Corey. And now I have a Corey. And because I'm in creative mode, you know, I can pull out a few of the creative pieces that's only allowed in creative mode. You know, energy, plus, any, yeah, energy power and whatnot. So I'll start getting to work. Um, like I said, I might, I'll probably bring y'all back at different times, you know, as I'm trying to get back to where we were. I do know, I do recall and remember um, without having to look back, you know, I was starting to get some animals, some mob essence. I was in the process of building our mob spawner. Um, basic things like that. So I'll get to work and bring y'all back as soon as I get some more information figured out, guys. Um, again, sorry for the delay, sorry for the problems, but um, yeah, I don't think y'all <coughs> requested my computer to crash on me. Um, so all thing we can do is pick up the pieces and continue on. Thanks for watching. I'll try to keep y'all updated, um, and I'll talk to y'all soon. Bye.